Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ashley and in today's video, we are going to be talking about some daycare hacks. I came up with some and I've been wanting to share them with you guys because I feel like I've never heard anybody talk about these things, but they're basically things that you have around your house that you can use for daycare. And I'm gonna be talking about them in today's video. So the first hack that I wanna to talk to you guys about is marker caps. So if you guys have markers that are streaky, not working, that you're gonna throw away, throw away the marker, but keep the caps. So I started collecting caps, and the reason why I started collecting caps is because whenever I do colors with the daycare kids, um, I do have some color flashcards, but I do not like a lot of the ones that I have because, for example, the color red, there'll be a red apple, so I'll have to ask the kids, what color is this? They'll say apple, they won't say red. So I don't know if I should like buy cardstock and just laminate it, like a plain red one, orange one, yellow one, you know what I mean? So that I can just hold up the paper and have them say the color. Because again, they'll say the item that's on the picture and they won't say the actual color. So a lot of the times, the best way that I can do colors is I'll grab all of my markers, Crayola, whatever, and I have them inside of a bucket and I'll grab the marker like this, I'll cover it, and then I'll ask them what color the cap is. Here's this. Good job. What about this one? Orange. Orange. I cover it because sometimes they'll say white, and you know, like Crayola markers, they have white on it. Um, and for example, this one, they'd say gray, or it, sometimes they'd say black. It just really depends. But I always cover it, and then I ask them what color the cap is. So I was going through my inventory the other day, and I saw a lot of markers that weren't working, and I was like, you know what? I should just keep the caps. And I came up with so many ideas for the caps. I know that there's not a lot in right now because I just came up with the idea. But once I have enough caps, there are so many things that we can do. So for example, the first thing you can do is color recognition. So you can grab your caps, everybody, what color is this? You can go through all of them, everybody, what color is this? Orange, whatever, so on and so forth. Another thing you guys can do is sort the caps. So if you have a red bucket, blue bucket, or even like a sheet of paper, you can have a red sheet of paper, pink sheet of paper, and then you can just have the kids put all of the red caps on the red paper, all the blue green caps on the green paper, so on and so forth, so they can also sort. Another thing they can do is stack. So I'm gonna point out to you guys, not all markers are stackable. I know the Crayola ones and the Expo ones are not stackable, but I do have some calligraphy markers. I know a lot of you guys might not have calligraphy markers, but, I'm just, I'm literally still trying to find ones that stack, but if you do have stackable caps, they can stack them. And then once you have enough of a specific color, they can go ahead and make patterns. So if I had more purple and green, we could have gone purple, green, purple, green, purple, green. Do you get what I'm saying? So they can stack them, they can sort them, you can do color recognition, and I think it's a really good idea. The kids, they saw me pull this out, and it's so funny because if I ever pull out a new toy, they'll all just hover around me. They'll literally form a circle and they'll just look at me like, what are you doing? Can I play with it? And when I pulled these out, they literally, girl, the girls were putting them on their fingers like if they were nails, and it was just really cute. There are so many things that you can do with marker caps. So again, if you guys have markers that are streaky or not working, don't throw them away. Keep them for a different teaching experience situation. Another thing is laundry detergent cups. So, I know that we all wash clothes and we probably all collect these. I usually throw them away, but I've been keeping them recently for so many things. So I do have watercolor paint where you have to have water and the kids have like paint with their paint brushes. So I use these cups, I fill them up with water and I use them for the water purpose. I used to use Dixie cups or regular like drinking cups, but I was throwing them away and wasting them and I feel like this is like the perfect size to just fill it up with water and give it to the kids so they can do watercolor paint. So if you guys have these, these are like the smaller size, but if you have them, you can use them for that. I'm gonna get to the crayons in a second. So I do also have the bigger one, this size right here, and I usually use the bigger cups for the bigger kids and the smaller cups for the smaller kids. But again, if you have the larger ones, you can also use those as well. So then for the next purpose, I do use them for crayons too. So I don't like to give a lot of crayons to every single student because they will break. They will fall, you'll have a mess everywhere, and it's just a little bit too much. So I'll fill up the little cap again for the little kids, and I'll give them a little bit of markers, and then the bigger cap, I fill it up with more crayons for the bigger kids. And then the same thing with the water, less water, more water, little kids, bigger kids. Do you get what I'm saying? So if you guys have laundry detergent caps, you guys should keep them, and then you can use them for either crayons, or you can use it for water, for watercolor paint. So the next thing that I started to keep and collect are baby food jars. 
So this is actually, I believe it's like Beach Bum brand. I kept the baby food jar, I cleaned it out. I spray painted the cap a long time ago. I don't think I shared this on my YouTube before. If I did, I'm sorry. But I spray painted it rose gold. You can kind of see the green seeping through because it's, it's oh my gosh, it's like two years old. Um, I spray painted the cap and I have one with staples. I have one with paper clips. I have so many of these with different supplies and when the rose gold was a lot nicer, I had all of them displayed and it looked so cute. And you can also use these for like personalized gifts like for Mother's Day, Father's Day, birthdays, whatever you want. You can come up with something fancy and I think that it's a really good thing to recycle, reuse, and you can use it for again office supplies or you can use it for a gift as well. So if you guys have infants in your program that eat baby food in glass jars, keep them and you can use them for so many different things. So then the last hack, it's not something that you can recycle, but it's something that's a little bit more time saving for me. So on Friday of each week, I get five cups and I label them with the student's name. So they're already pre-labeled so that on Monday, when it's time to get the cups ready, I just grab them. They're already labeled, fill it up with water, fill it up with juice, fill it up with whatever it is that you're gonna use and they have it. Their name is on it, they're gonna know which one is theirs. This also helps with them recognizing their names. You can just set them out on the table and then they can find their cup with their name and they can sit and whatever. But I like this idea because it is time saving. I know that when I do it every single day, like as the day goes, if I pull out cups and I start writing the names, sometimes I can't find the marker. And then not only that, it, just, it takes time. So I just have it already pre-labeled. And then again, when the day comes, I just pull the cup, it has a kid's name and it's already ready for me to use. And I don't gotta worry about finding a marker or writing their name because it's already done. So that basically completes my daycare hacks video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That is the four that I have for you guys. If you guys have any that you can think of, leave them in the comments down below because these are just things that I think of as I go about my daycare life. And I like them. I think that they're all really good, efficient, and I've been using them a lot. Like it's not something that I'll use for like a week or two and then ugh, it really doesn't work. No, these work and I really do enjoy it. The only thing I don't like is the laundry caps don't stack. So you're gonna have to have like a bin with them. That's the only thing that I can think of as a negative when it comes to these things, that's it. So that basically completes my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already and I will see you guys in my next video.